immediately. Many people will not invest in the proper tools to run their business, and they try to broadcast sales messages using their personal accounts. All right, this is bad for so many reasons. First is that your shared hosting account for your website that probably also provides your email service will kick you off in no time flat. They will see large amounts of emails going out within a few minutes and literally sirens will go off in in their office telling them to shut you down immediately. They will think that either you're a spammer or you got hacked and your website hosting service is being used as a spam like kickoff point. So they're gonna shut you down immediately, all right? Now, sometimes you can play dumb and apologize because you didn't know you weren't allowed to send that many emails all at once. And sometimes uh, that'll work, but sometimes they'll just immediately suspend you or ban, ban you for spamming. You do not want to be in this situation. The next big mistake people make, and I see it to this day, even with big entities that should know better, They send an email to a big group and put all the email addresses in the CC, or that's called the carbon copy, part of your email. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) You have now exposed everyone's email to everyone else on the list. You just killed the privacy of those people. In some cases, if someone accidentally hits reply all to complain about you doing this, everyone on the list gets that complaint. And if a bunch of people do that, you have a cluster F, and you know what F stands for, of email going all over the place and everyone is pissed off at you and will most likely never do business with you because you were too stupid to do such a thing. All right. So, no, don't do a CC for broadcast emails. All right, now you say, well, Tom, what about BCC or blind carbon copy? Oh, well, guess what? That's okay for small groups of people. I even do that myself. And in fact, I'm doing it right now with I have an ebook mastermind going and an email mastermind going. And In this case, I do use my personal accounts and I send the email in the two line to myself. That's how you do this. And then you copy everyone else in the BCC area, blind carbon copy. But remember, this is only for 15 to 20 people or so. So it's no big deal here. Plus the people on the list paid to be on it. So this has no effect at all on hurting my email reputation and they're not going to complain to anybody or nothing. All right, so so that's fine. BCC is okay for small groups, but CC, avoid it unless it's one or two people that are all in in cahoots on your email and and not going to complain and and they know each other. All right, now, if you're planning on getting serious about your email marketing, no personal account is going to work. Even with very little success, let's say you only have 100 people on your list, that's more than enough to get you kicked off personal accounts easily. So either get serious and get the proper tools or don't do it at all until you're ready to invest in the proper tools. All right, but let me talk about free email services for a minute. Here's the the problem with free email broadcast services. Every spammer that has a union card, okay, uses these free services until they get kicked off. And then they're just going to spoof or pretend they're at a different IP address and sign up again with the free service and keep spamming people. Well, that means servers around the world that receive email recognize that tons of spam is coming from those services, those free services. So they ban all email coming from those free places. So you're lumped in. I mean, no matter how legit you are, you get lumped in with the bad apples and your emails don't get through. And your email reputation tanks even more, all right? So don't do that. Don't don't get sucked into free stuff. Now, I'm the first one that will promote free stuff that's great and is good for you and helps you. In fact, there's low 